A Texan mayor has resigned after accusing his Snowden residents of being lazy, telling them to get off your ass and take care of your own family in the midst of a storm that wiped out power for a swathe of the region. Tim Boyd, mayor of Colorado City, 220 miles west of Fort Worth, voiced his frustrations at the town's 4,000 residents on Facebook. No one owes you or your family anything, nor is it the local government's responsibility to support you during trying times like this, he wrote on Tuesday morning. The city and county, along with power providers or any other service, owes you nothing. Data from Encore Electric Delivery, which serves about 4,400 customers in Colorado City's zip code, showed that 1,304 of them were without power at 9 p.m. on Tuesday. The temperature was 23 degrees. Boyd continued at length, saying that he was sick and tired of people looking for handouts and that the current situation is sadly a product of a socialist government. Only the strong will survive and the weak will perish, he wrote. Boyd has since taken the post down, but screenshots of the image went viral. Several hours later, he said he stood by his sentiments, but should have phrased it better and been more descriptive. I would never want to hurt the elderly or anyone that is in true need of help to be left to fend for themselves, Boyd said. I was only making the statement that those folks that are too lazy to get up and fend for themselves, but are capable should not be dealt a handout. The former mayor said that his family had been harassed as a result of this post, and his wife had lost her job. Please understand if I had it to do over again, I would have just kept my words to myself, and if I did say them, I would have used better wording and been more descriptive, he wrote. The anger and harassment you have caused my wife and family is so undeserved, my wife was laid off of her job based off the association people gave to her and the business she worked for. She's a very good person and was only defending me. But her to have to get fired from her job over things I said out of context is so horrible. I admit, there are things that are said all the time that I don't agree with, but I would never harass you or your family to the point that they would lose their livelihood such as a form of income. Boyd also claimed that he had resigned before making Tuesday morning's post and was speaking only as a citizen, not an elected official. I had already turned in my resignation and had not signed up to run for mayor again on the deadline that was February 12th, he said. Here is what Boyd posts on Facebook. Let me hurt some feelings while I have a minute. No one owes you or your family anything, nor is it the local government's responsibility to support you during trying times like this. Sink or swim, it's your choice. The city and county, along with power providers or any other service, owes you nothing. I'm sick and tired of people looking for a damn handout. If you don't have electricity you step up and come up with a game plan to keep your family warm and safe. If you have no water you deal without and think outside of the box to survive and supply water to your family. If you are sitting at home in the cold because you have no power and are sitting there waiting for someone to come rescue you because you're lazy is direct result of your raising. Only the strong will survive and the weak will perish. Folks God has given us the tools to support ourselves in times like this. This is sadly a product of a socialist government where they feed people to believe that the few will work and others will become dependent for handouts. Am I sorry that you have been dealing without electricity and water, yes. But I'll be damned if I'm going to provide for anyone that is capable of doing it themselves. We have lost sight of those in need and those that take advantage of the system and mesh them into one group. Bottom line, quit crying and looking for a handout. Get off your ass and take care of your own family. Bottom line, don't a part of problem, be part of the solution.